Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so today we are going to see about uh, API integration in VBA. So for that purpose, I have this website as testing. So I'll put this link in the description. So uh, you need to go into this website and then you can claim claim your free API key if you click on this then it will take you to this website and you just need to fill this data and click on this get free API key and then you will get one free API key like this okay and then so once you have that then we need to you know use this API URLs before that we need to have a reference or external DLL so you need to go into this tools reference and find this one Microsoft XML version 6.0 now uh, if you don't have 6.0 you can use Microsoft XML version 3.0 I guess you should have any one of them but if you don't have then uh, just let me know in the comment thank you so once you have that then what you need to do we need to look this a uh, little bit carefully okay so like it's saying HTTPS and then website URL and then query and then question marks so this question marks is defining that okay after this it will be query parameters okay so this one function time series daily so this is one query parameter the name is a uh, name of this is function and value of that query parameter is time series daily and there is another query parameter that is symbol and then value is IBM and then there is another one is API key so you need to put your generated API key like this one instead of demo so as you can see that uh, after these are base URLs okay so up to query these are base URL question mark is to define that okay this is query parameters and then uh, this query parameter name and this is query parameter value and my uh, separator of this is equal sign and if you want to add new query parameter then you need to use ampersand so we are going to use that way so i have one function in this section that is going to create url from this query parameters name and query parameter value and from this base url so basically what i am doing that uh, i am adding this question marks okay if it's an array and then i am taking each query parameter name from uh, each query parameter name from this query parameters and query values and then I'm putting this equal sign and then at the end ampersand and I'm deleting the last ampersand in this section and uh, I get this final URL okay so we need to declare variable HTTP caller so the type is mx msxml2 dot xml HTTP 60 and then there is query parameters and query parameter value and then final url so this final url is being created from this create url function so you can see this function and the value of this function is time series intraday extended symbol is ibm so i can easily change this symbol interval is 60 minutes so i can easily put you know 15 minutes or five minutes slice year one month one api key is my api key so this is uh, much more easier instead of using exact url from this section and once we have this so we can just open this and there is a get request and then we can pass this final url and this is false and then set request header so we want the con content type is like application or json and then send this you know api call and once we send this api call we'll get back this response text so let me run it so if i run this now you can see this is my final url it's deleted that okay so let me put a breakpoint in this section so let me run it so now you can see this is my final url and then once i run this then these are my outputs okay so you don't need to put this output in immediate window you can put this output in a cell or you know you can just parse this data anyway so this return us this you know information so let me run it one more time to see this 
URL and if I run this URL like if I put this on the system so it, it gives us this extended intraday IBM 60 minute one year so this Excel file so this uh, return us this information okay anyway so let's move on to the next example let's say instead of IBM as to see you know, time series day adjusted so like function time series day is adjusted so I can just change this time series day adjusted okay and I can just put okay so this will be adjusted let's see this is a premium endpoint okay okay so this is for premium so it will not be available for free okay that also a good example so let's see okay so time series trend intraday so you can use time series intraday let's see time series intraday and this one yeah so it gives us this result back okay so this is for ibm let's say if we wants to you know change this parameter we can change this parameter interval so it's like 60 minute I mean, instead of 16 minute we can put like 15 minute and then we can run this again okay let's dump this in a cell color dot response text visit the documentation of okay. 10 minutes let's see there is no 10 minutes limit so 1 5 15 so we need to this 15 minute so it gives us this result so like 10 45 and then 10 30 and then 10 15 so there is 15 minute interval in between this data and this is the final data So this is how we can retrieve data from website if we have API integration. Also we can say you now like JSON, CSP, data type JSON, I don't need that symbol IBM. So I can use different symbol. So let's say Apple, it's maybe AAPL. So let's try that. So instead of IBM, AAPL it's for Apple company and let's run this yeah let's give us this region okay, so that is also good example symbol APL okay so you can just change data in this section and then get this information back into Excel sheet or whatever so that's it for today um, we are going to parse this Fonts text JSON into proper you know array or proper range result in next video. So thank you, thank you for watching. Have a good day.